Good evening, everybody. It is another amazing day here in Central Florida. We are here on International Drive at Old Red, Blake Shelton's restaurant here, right down International Drive, outside of Walt Disney World and Universal Studios. We are going to give this place a try. We have actually been here one time before, but it's been a long time. I don't remember anything that I got here. Um, and so I am excited to come back here and try some different stuff, um, try out the restaurant. Candy's already inside, got us a table, but I will tell you it is loud, loud, loud in there. So I don't know how much of this we're going to be able to get actually on film, uh, but we're going to try and review the restaurant, review the food, some drinks, um, and see what it's all about. The great thing about this place has live music um, pretty much every night. So it's a cool atmosphere, obviously country music, country vibe. If I remember correctly, the food was pretty good last time we were here. So I'm excited to go on in. Uh, it's pretty loud. It's got live music every single night, pretty much. I think live music every night. Uh, so I think the band in there is, is popping pretty good. It's gonna be loud. We'll see what we can get on film. We may have to do some of the review after we get out of the restaurant, uh, but stay tuned, here we go. My boy Blake. What's up, man? What, hi? You ain't gonna say that? Whatever. Table, like right in front of the stage. How much time is it? I don't know, like seven. Yeah. So on it's like Thursday. it's actually a really good table. There's not, it's not too crowded yet, but yeah. um, it's almost too good of a table for this video because we are right in front of the stage, so it's very, very loud. So I don't know that you're gonna be able to hear anything that we say during I'm not this sure. video. I'm not sure if someone's so we'll really, see. Really we'll record I'm it like you can hear what we're saying, am, uh, and then when we can't hear anything, we'll delete the, the video. Mainly because this no, redneck white tie. So, uh, you have to speak louder than that. I got this redneck uh, white tie, and it's pretty good. Uh, it's pretty sweet. I've never had a white uh, tie before. No, I got it because it had uh, um, no rum in it. It was the only drink that had rum in it. Throw a little couple bucks our way and ask for a song. Some people are. Tastes like pineapple. Yeah, it has pineapple juice in it. It's bright. It's pretty good. I don't really taste the alcohol. I smell it, but I don't taste it. I don't taste it either. Um, and yeah, it's pretty good. It's my first high tie ever. It's a order or appetizer. We don't because we yeah, so we we just got our, our food, and I forgot to order the appetizer, so I was like, oh, oops. So, whatever. I got the Cuban sandwich and the handmade tater tots. Look at these things. She got the smoked jalapeno wings. On the appetizer. And I see some jalapenos in there, too. Definitely some smoked jalapeno wings. Blue cheese ranch. Yeah, they have some crazy sauces here that look really good to me. This Cuban sandwich. Yum.
that song was popping. I love that song. Oh, look what we got here. Fried pickles and fried tomatoes. So fried green tomatoes and fried pickles. And they come with this barbecue sauce. And some sort of ranch. So we'll try these. Look at this um, tater tots. My tater tots, these are handmade tater tots. They look pretty good. Yum. Try this tater tot. Try a tater tot. Yum. That's the best tater tot I ever had. I, mean, I ain't gonna lie, that's the best tater tot I ever had. I'm gonna try these fried green tomatoes. Back to a little bit country. And this sauce here. I don't know what this sauce is. Yum. Try that sauce. I don't know what this is. Some sort of barbecue. Hot. I like barbecue. Some sort of like a, I don't know, spicy vinegary barbecue sauce. Yum. Try this, whatever this is. Something else. I don't know. I gotta look it up. So these fried pickles and fried tomatoes, green tomatoes, came with a red barbecue sauce and a white barbecue sauce. I don't know what that means, but I can tell you they're phenomenal. I mean, they are so good, and these fried green tomatoes are awesome. This this red sauce, this, this red barbecue, I don't know, it is so good. It's like a vinegary, peppery barbecue sauce. Sour vinegar? Oh, I, I can't I cannot say enough good things about that barbecue sauce. It is phenomenal. My daughter would love it. And this white barbecue sauce? I don't know what it is either. It's like I don't know, this white barbecue sauce is so good too. It's like vinegary. I don't even know what it is. It's, it's not like ranchy. I don't know. It's like a creamy, vinegary, delicious bundle of joy. Both of them. And they both have a little bit of kick to them. They're so good. I mean, really good. I would, I would just, I would come here just for the fried pickles and the fried green tomatoes. Like, it's an appetizer. And it's that good, literally. I literally would come here just for the fried green tomatoes and pickles. They're that good. And they're only $10. Like, you get so many. This thing is huge. Like, there's so much in those two sauces. Those two sauces are awesome. Here, you gonna, did you try both sauces? Try, try those sauces while I'm talking about I want to talk about these again because I can't, I can't say this enough. These, these tater tots are the best tater tot I've ever had in my entire life. Now maybe there's other tater tots that are great that have like a bunch of stuff on them. But just as a tater tot, I mean, I don't know, it's so good, it's so flavorful. I can't, it's so good. I like the white one better. You do? I'm surprised. I'm surprised. She doesn't usually like the white sauces because she thinks they taste like mayonnaise. Like but neither one of them do, do they? No. I love both of them. But they're both sour and vinegary. Yeah. All right, how are your wings? I really, you can have one. There's a million. No. I'm already full. They look too, way too hot. I'm already full. They they're like jalapeno. Here, I feel like. It literally they're has. not hot at all. Are you sure? Yeah. Because this. There's, this is literally. There's a jalapeno sauce. This on. is literally on top of one of her her wings. They're not hot. A giant jalapeno. No, I'm not. I'm not doing that. Okay, I'll try one little nip. One little rip here. It's not hot. <laughs> it's hot. <laughs> I 
I knew you were gonna. I knew you were. You were lying to me. My mouth's on fire now. Tastes good though. And then I got the Cuban sandwich. I mean, look at this thing. It's awesome. Oh, what's it have in it? So obviously, Cuban sandwich. It's got the Cuban roll that's been pressed and uh, sort of grilled. And then it's got, so it's got the pit ham in it, the, cube, the uh, Cuban pork, or is it, no, oh, it's got pit ham, pulled pork, pickles. pickles, which you know me and us and pickles, pimento cheese, honey mustard, see it's getting weird now, um, on this Cuban roll. But it all works really well together. Nothing, nothing like um, overpowers. It's got such a good crunch to it, and it came with extra pick, extra pickles, which I put on here. You want to try it? Uh, try it. I don't really want to try it. I don't like honey mustard. She doesn't like honey mustard, but try it. She's gonna like it. She's gonna like it. It's good. It's really good. So the uh, the band is taking a break. So we can actually do this because otherwise, yeah, it was not happening. We were just gonna have to do the review outside afterwards. Um, but my food is awesome. Yeah, and I'm already full. <laughs> Literally, I'm stuffed, and I, we still have all of that. I still got all of this. I still have a lot of wings. She still has a, a metric ton of wings in there for some reason. And I was thinking we were going to get dessert, but I feel like that ain't going to happen. Because they had a turtle a turtle funnel cake. A turtle funnel cake. I yes. I can eat that now. But I, I have a feeling it's not just going to be like the same lame funnel cake that everybody has. It's going to be like a cool funnel cake with awesome flavors. Because like, I ordered tater tots. I was expecting, you know, like the kind that come out of the frozen package. And I got that. So... And I did ask the waitress if the fr they have hand cut fries and tater tots here, and I asked which one were better. She said that she thinks the tater tots. She was probably right. I haven't tried the, the fries, but I'm glad that I went with the tater tots because they're busting. So anyway, I think we're just going to keep on eating, and then we'll chat more in a bit. This is our song. It is our song. <laughs> At some point, we're going to do our own rendition of it. I'm trying to get him to go to uh, Rising Star Karaoke and do it. He's a really good singer. I'm just saying. It's a perfect okay. song to come on during date night. <laughs> and even during date night, I still have to do, deal with... Our son is not definitely. with us tonight because yeah. he... I mean, he lives on his own anyway, but oh, we're yeah, just always together with all of our family as much as we possibly First can be. But he's at a special preview night here at, Hol at uh, Universal Studios. Yeah, so he's... So, yeah. Well, we finished eating at O Red. So we came out here to kind of do the sum up, wrap, wrap up report, a uh, little summary, because it was super loud in there and the band started playing again and we were like, okay, it's not going to happen. So we'll do the rest of it out here. So we're at Icon Park, as you can see in the background, if you're not familiar, right on International Drive, there's a lot of really awesome stuff here uh, to check out. It's only a couple of miles from Disney and there's shuttles and things that you can take here or a cab. It's pretty quick to get here. It doesn't cost you that much. So there's a lot of things to do here. Um, overall, my impression of Old Red is it's awesome yeah and i think they have music 5 30 to 9 every night it's awesome everything everything we got was less than 15 dollars each yeah. like everything was under 15 bucks even your drink was less than 15 bucks the appetizers that we got were 50, less than 15 bucks the meals that we got were less than 15 bucks so it was not expensive at all great entertainment if you like country music if you don't like country music it's not the place for you probably I mean the food is good if you like yeah. southern cooking um, a lot of the food menu items were like southern based but I mean they had like burgers and all kind of stuff that's not really like a southern food but like southern comfort probably to the burger like they had re like a regular cheeseburger too but like I, I, the food is just awesome like it's very 
quality, quality food, especially for under 15 bucks a pop. And it's super cute in there. Super cute. Yeah. And the band was good um, uh, that we, we listened to. I remember the last time we were here, the band was, was really good. Yeah. Um, so, like, the music was great. I like country music, so I it worked for me. Um, but even if you don't like country music, the food's good. And then Blake Shelton actually does perform there. Yeah. Um, we've never been able to see him there. The last time we went, they're like, oh, he was just here last weekend. We're yeah. like, what? We're like, <laughs> so he does perform there. Um, but it's it's awesome place. It's, it's huge, too. There's, like, an upstairs and a downstairs. But, oh, I mean, uh, the food was good. Like, it was awesome. I, I'm not kidding. I literally would. I think we're we're going to come back there. And I think what needs to happen, though, is we need to get the fried pickles and fried green tomatoes. And then, like, share an entree. Yeah, because it's too much food. Because <laughs> there was literally, like, I'm not kidding, like, two whole meals, I feel like, left over. Yeah. But even after we were done, that I'm like... It was way too much food for, for cheap. I, every every single plate I saw came by, uh, that went by, had tons of food on it. Like, it was like portion sizes were large. Um, so I feel it was almost like the Cheesecake Factory. Like, yeah. giant portions. But, I mean, again, it was like low cost, and the food was awesome. Yeah. So, overall, highly recommend Old Red. There's other restaurants here, too. Um, we'll, we'll do those another day. But thanks for tuning in. It's been great. Uh, tune in tomorrow for another great episode. Subscribe um, and share the video. You know, if you if you know anybody coming down into into the Disney Universal area and they're looking for a cool place to eat, share this video and let them know that like Old Red. I know I do this a lot, but Old Red is an awesome place for them to get a get a bite to eat and get some live music and have cool kind of a cool date night or families. There's families in there. So um, anyway, thanks for tuning in. See you next time. The Noble Way. Bye-bye, everybody.